All right, so let's get this Ryzen Threadripper. We're doing the uh, 3960X version for this build. And this is a STRX4 type socket. So this is definitely a little different than your typical CPU socketing exercise. Uh, I'll show you how to get this down in that uh, socket there. So AMD gives you a special tool and what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up opening this assembly here and then you'll seat the CPU down in there. You've actually got to unlock it from the, the case here and then this, this entire tray comes out. You've got this thing to sit on top of the the CPU, I'll flip it over so that you can see the array of connections there. Uh, so until we're ready to actually install that tray, I'm going to set this off to the side here. Make sure that we be careful, careful with it. Uh, if you're not sure what you're doing or whatever, or you're not real confident, probably not the CPU to start with at thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars $1,400 a crack. Uh, <laughs> So that's not where you want to start. Um, now, when you open these, it says right here on the tray, you want to open in order three, two, one. And when you close, you're going to go one, two, three. So, and these screws actually don't come out. Uh, so you unscrew them, but they actually don't come out of the assembly. So you don't, you know, you don't pull them all the way out. They're not supposed to come out. So yeah, righty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> Everything I need to know in life I learned in kindergarten, right? So now once you've got that kind of tray open there, uh, there's you'll see there's some things in here that are gonna kinda protect the assembly. Uh, so you're going to take these these blue clips and then boom this comes up and you'll notice that this comes out it's like a little sled and you see that the tracks there on that little sled uh, look just like this one so you can go ahead and discard that little piece that holds it into the, the case there because you don't need that. Uh, but you will just leave the orange plastic sled tray on the, the CPU here and it'll go right down into that track like that. You'll feel it should slide right down on in there and kind of click into place. Uh, it's heavy. Obviously, if you ever handle the processor, you know they're very dense and heavy. Uh, and then, so this will, will line up there. And at that point, you've got to take this plastic guard out of the actual pin array there. Um, the I'll try to tilt this up for you guys here without screwing up the, the board here. So that's your pin array there. You can see it actually has like these four distinct sections and then you know the way that AMD's got this set up is so you can put this thing here and then you'll you'll lower it right down into the the pin array there and it should click into place uh, in a very satisfying way. Now when we go to close it back up we're gonna go just the opposite so we're gonna close it one two three and you can screw these things down as you tighten them up. You can feel um, the tension kind of increasing and you get to a certain point and then you'll feel a click and then it loads back. So you, there's no way to really kind of screw it up as long as you're being reasonably careful uh, or you're not an idiot and you let your tool slide across the surface of the processor there.
So just good, consistent pressure. Don't try to go too fast. And there you go. You'll feel that click. And that's all she wrote. Seated and in there like swimwear, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed.